Residential Appraisal Report Writing and Case Studies. Chapter 1, Appraising versus Reporting. Page 12, The Appraisal Process. Appraising is a problem-solving process. And the appraisal is the development device used to solve the problem. Prior to initiating the development device, better known as the appraisal process, we must be aware of and understand the basic principles that are incorporated into the appraisal process. The steps in the appraisal process include, number one, identification of the problem. Number two, determination of the scope of work. Number three, collection and analysis of the data. Number four, determination of highest and best use. Number five, application of the approaches to value. Number six, reconciliation. End of page. Number 13, or wait, page 13. Identifying the problem. In order to solve the client's problem, appraisers must find answers to some basic questions at the time of engagement. Who is the client? Are there any other intended users? What is the purpose of this appraisal assignment? What is the intended use of our opinions analysis and conclusions what is the effective date for this assignment what type of value is required for this assignment what is the definition for this type of value what are the relevant characteristics concerning this property are there any conditions for this assignment that must be complied with these questions are directed to the client or the party who engages your services on behalf of the client obtaining these answers to these questions is the problem identification process it is called it is called the problem definition process in some appraisal textbooks most of the information necessary for problem identification can be obtained by the appraiser through communication with the client. Uh, extra note, problem identification is highlighted and so was problem definition. So try to remember Obtaining the answers to these questions is the problem identification process. It is called problem definition process in some appraisal textbooks. Page 14. Who is the client? In a residential mortgage lending appraisal, is the client the loan processor, the loan officer, or the appraisal management company that ordered the appraisal on behalf of a 
financial institution? Typically not. The financial institution would generally be the client in this scenario. There also may be applicable state law that specifies who is considered to be the client. Let us look at the definition of client as found in the definitions section of the Uniform Standards of Professional Appraisal Practice, USPAP. Client, the party or parties, for instance, individual, group or entity who engage an appraiser by employment or contract in a specific assignment, whether directly or through an agent. All of that is highlighted. So remember, the definition of client, the party or parties, for instance, individual group or entity who engage an appraiser by employment or contract in a specific assignment, whether directly or through an agent. Your client may be an individual, a group, or an entity. In any case, your client is the party or parties with whom you have an appraiser-client relationship for this assignment. When you determine who your client is, you will also need to ask a second question. Are there any other intended users that will use this report? The answer to the second question may, be, may help you determine how much information you will need to provide in the appraisal report. End of page. Page 15, who, no wait, what is the reason for this appraisal? Uh. In other words, what is the intended use for this appraisal? Mm. Why is this appraisal needed? How is the appraisal going to be used? What sort of problem is this appraisal intended to solve? The answers to these questions will allow the appraiser to determine the extent of the development process as well as the reporting format to be used for the assignment. As we will discover later, USPAP does not dictate the form, format, or style of appraisal reports. Instead, the form, format, and style of an appraisal report depend on the intended use and the needs of intended users. It's time for another short quiz. End of page. Page 16, check your understanding. This quiz has a total of three questions. There will be one question per page. You must achieve 66% to pass this quiz. Start quiz. Number one, in the reporting of a real property appraisal. It is important that the report is not A, misleading, B, fraudulent, or C, both of these answers. I'm going both of these answers. Number two, in the development of a real property appraisal, the value opinion 
must be A. Affordable B. A specific number C. The average of the three comparable sales or D. Credible I'm going to go D. Credible Number three Earl is appraising a parcel of real property for a mortgage loan. What is the best source to obtain the information he needs for problem identification? A, the current deed to the property. B, a personal inspection of the property. C, the client, or D, the borrower. I'm gonna go see the client. Assessment completed, finish. You passed, you got 100%. So remember, in the, the reporting of a real property appraisal, it is important that the report is not. You said uh, both of these answers in regards to misleading and fraudulent, and that was correct. So make sure the report is not misleading and fraudulent. Number two, in the development of a real property appraisal, the value opinion must be, you said credible, and that was correct. And number three, Earl is appraising a parcel of real property for a mortgage loan. What is the best source to obtain the information he needs for problem identification? You said the client, and that is correct. Continue.